you are welcome to another video uh you are welcome so today i want to explain how you can create a full website that will be looking professional either from phone or from laptop before you start creating a website after you have installed wordpress there are some settings that you must do first which i have explained to you this is how you are going to see your wordpress this is how the dashboard will look like when you log into your dashboard so what you need to do first is to come to screen option here you remove all of these things because you don't need them don't worry about this one you are seeing here don't worry about that one i reset my wordpress that's right that's why i'm seeing this one don't worry so that i can explain to you again now after you have removed everything on the screen you need to come to settings come to permalink that one is very important change your permalink to post change it from plain to change it from this plain to post name i have explained to you all that one just change it to post name then save it that is the first thing you need to do after that you come to your general here if you want to do any little adjustment you can do it if you want people to register you click on anyone can register so you do all those settings that i have told you those settings are very important try to do them before you start adding pages you start uh creating posts so after that i will recommend you to come to your post after you have done all the settings then delete this hello world trash it out the report post from wordpress delete it and also i will recommend you to come to your pages you know i don't tell you to do that but i'm recommending it now it is not compulsory but i'm recommending it so that you can have you can focus on what you want to create also to your pages you will see a sample page and you will see sample page and uh privacy policy click on those two one come to this book action and move to trash apply to delete so let it also be empty now that it is empty what you need to do is to start building what you want to build i told you building a professional website these days uh we recommend using what we call template because everybody wants quick answer answer all clients want quick reply and instead of you to start building uh adding all the equipment all the tools all everything you want to use by yourself it is better to use template there are thousands millions of templates that have been created once you know what you want to build that template will help you to get <coughs> it will help you to build faster so what will you do after you have erased everything now you will need to go and install a team you need to install a team but for the purpose of this tutorial we are going to use a team that i that is called never never team so you know you come to team option then click on add new search for never never team this is the team we are going to use never so click on it install it because i've already installed it here i have it but you click on it install it and then activate the team so this is the team we want to use but before we start using it we need to install some of the plugins that we are going to use like page builder that one is very important we are going to install the page builder we are going to use and some other plugins 
So come back to, don't worry about the information you are seeing. It is the information of the team here. But come to these three dots and come to plugin, add new. Sorry, click on add new. So the page builder I told you in the last video, the page builder you are going to use is Blizz. I told you to use Blizz. But some people said uh, Blizz, some pictures, we cannot use them because they are pro victor. Yes. You know, I told you also when I was explaining plugins and things that we have free, we have pro. There are a lot of pictures that you cannot use at the free version. You have to buy it. You have to buy it. But because of this tutorial, and I don't want you to be thinking that uh, the training is all about money, money, money. That is why I'm going to bring you to another level and another page builder that you can still use and get a professional website. So come here and search for what I call, what we call Beaver Builder. Beaver Builder. If it is laptop you are using, I will recommend Elementor. But if you are using phone to build, I will recommend you to have Beaver Builder. Because Beaver Builder is easy to edit on phone, but with laptop, uh, with phone, you cannot edit Elementor. That one, they don't have the free version. They don't have the uh, phone version to edit. But if you are using laptop, Elementor is still the best. They have different plugins, different uh, tools. Every time they update their tools that you can use. Now come here and install this Beaver Builder. Beaver Builder. Click on install and activate. Beaver Builder is also good for people that are using laptop. It's also good. So what I will say in that aspect much is that try to get all the page builder look at them together comprises are uh, uh, look at the similarity between them look at their benefits look at their disadvantage and pick the one you want to use that is why i don't talk much on it when i explain it to you i just told you that go and search more on it pick the one you want to use and start building all what you want to use it to do is to build your page and I've told you how to build the page, how to use it, but I will still explain here how you can use your page builder to build your page. Now, after you have installed the Beaver Builder, don't worry, go back to your dashboard. Go back to your dashboard. Now, because of the team we want to use, the team we want to use is Nevis. We need to have some literally two pro pictures in that team. So there is a particular plugin that I will be giving you in this video that you need to download that plugin. You need to install it. That plugin will help you to get some pro item for free in that team. In that team. So what is that plugin? Come back to this plugin action. Click on add new. Click on add new. Then click on upload plugin click on upload after you have downloaded the plugin after you have downloaded it click on upload click on choose file once you choose file go to where the plugin you downloaded is my own will be under download go to where that plugin is the name of that plugin i will tell you you will see it in the video but just go to where the plugin is and search for that plugin that you downloaded uh, it is called Never Option. Never Option. I'm trying to look for it here. Still going to N. 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 I think I have. Okay. This is it. Never Pro. You will see this plugin. Try to download it. This Never Pro. Download the plugin. It's a pro plugin, not free. Click on it and click on install. So the plugin is a pro plugin, so it will help you to have some other options of never other option. So the reason why I'm seeing this one is because the plugin is already in my system. It's already on my on my uh, website. You know, I reset this website to explain the old things to you from beginning. So that's why I'm seeing all this. 
your own you may not see it like this it will just have to install let me click on replace current with uploading so that it can re-upload okay it's re-uploading now so it will upload and activate once it's upload and activate then we are good to go and install the demo content just click on activate login the reason why i need to go through all this process is because of the team uh, i'm using if not for the team that i'm using i don't need to install all of this all of this one first but the team you may be using when creating your website that team that team if it has option if it has templates the team will install the template for you directly that thing you so whenever you want to buy a team try to check the features of those team and discover that they have uh templates that can enhance your work if they don't have uh, please don't bother to go for such thing because that one will delay you we have to start creating from a to z building and building and building that one will take you more than three days seven days ten days so after you have installed that one this build uh, this never pro add-on come back again go to dashboard go to dashboard so leave other plugin or you need to come to plugin there's another plugin you need to install but the reason why i said you should leave it is because when you want to install the template uh it will install it for you now let's come back to home let us look at how our website is now visit site you can see that we have nothing on this site and we want to build if we don't have template we start building from a to z but now with the use of template it will enhance our work don't forget that we don't have anything on our website now come to this three menu come to appearance and click on the team option which is never option click on never option because that is that is the thing we installed click on it let it load for you some teams may not have their own under option under appearance here their own may be under their own may be under uh their own may be under the menu directly some things become like that but what you are looking for is to install the template now for this nervous go to the starter site in order to be able to import any starter site for nervous you need to have the cloud template and pattern collection plugin activate then click on activate your own if you don't if, if you have not installed it we it will ask you to install now after you have clicked on activate after you have installed the next thing to ask you is choose for multiple unique demos spe spe specially designed for you that can be installed with a single click you just need to choose your favorite and we will take care of everything else you just choose the template you want to use and they will install it for you now before choosing the template you will see here that we have beaver builder this beaver builder that you are having that was the page builder we want to use if i should click on this beaver builder you can see we have elementor we have breeze we have dv we have thrift architect so we are going to use beaver builder look for that beaver builder then once you install the beaver builder come down come down and pick among the logins click among the template that you want to use be careful of those that we have premium let me look for one if they are premium here be careful of those that we have premium premium option but if you don't see those that have premium option just click on it you will see it they will have they will put premium the reason why some of them are not having premium now is because i have installed a never pull add-on so that is why i'm not seeing premium on some of them now be careful of those that have premium be careful that one you can't install them but if you don't see premium good to go so look for the one you want to use 
after you have seen the one you want to use then what we need to do is to click on it i'm coming i'm trying to look for another one okay premium is not in this one now look for the one you want to use let us use this the, the minimal block so once you click on it click on it it will show this option to you import blogger as a complete site do you want to import it as a complete site or as a template alone or just to customize click on click on all these three things if all of them is like this click on all the three so that it will import it as a complete site for you complete site with the content it will import the widget the sidebar of it and also the customization of the theme so that everything you just need to do is to is to just adjust remove the test because if it import everything for you it will import all the pages of that theme also for you so you have to just go and be deleting little little one you don't need remove all the posts put your own post but all the settings will have been done for you the home page will have been done for you if you want to edit the home page it will just be easy for you to do so if you can see here also you will see that it says plugin these are the plugins that we need in order to in order to install that thing but we have installed this from Beaver Beaver. so the remaining two plugins it will install it for us obix for by obix fox by team slay bv builder add-on by w b zoom so it will install the two for us now click on import entire site let's leave it the site is importing and let's wait for it to complete its own job so this is how you are going to import temp demo templates even though you are using any other team also this is how the demo, tem demo templates we installed after it has installed finish install let me go back to my library back to site library i want to go back to my dashboard i want to go back to my dashboard let me just go back to my dashboard so that i can see it from there this is my dashboard now i have to go back to my dashboard now let me go and view site i want to view site from here not from that place you can see now that we now have content on our site these are the content we have on our site our site has been fully built for us you can see that we have pages home about us news and contact those pages that we don't have there before we now have them on our site if you now go and check if you go and check the uh your dashboard go back to your pages come here and click on pages click on uh sorry pages click on pages click on all pages we see that you now have about four pages that have been created for you and the settings of the one that will be the home page they have the team has already done it for you so that is why templates make the work easier for you you will discover that when i started this video i did not touch these settings i'm coming the settings of reading i did not go there at all but after you install the plugins now after you install the team rather the old thing you will discover that the settings has been done so the team will install all the settings everything all the settings that it comes with it will install it for you so you have done the first part by installing the template by having a complete professional site so this is how the site will now look like if you navigate to other settings it will be easy to navigate and things like that that is how to create a professional website now the second aspect that of the second aspect of it is how can you now edit how can you let me change it to desktop screen how can you edit how can you use page builder to adjust uh, your pages and every other things how can you use it one you don't use page builder for post once you have installed the demo template that one will have done the settings for you 
that will have done the settings for you if you want to adjust your post if you want to adjust the settings of that post where you will need to come to your customization come to customization here under appearance just click on customization let it load some of those team we have what we call post settings under the customization is still loading so do we have what we call post settings just click on this layout under layout under layout click on that layout once you click on the layout it's loading it's loading i'm having network issue here so let me allow you to load now you will see blog archive blog archive you see that blog archive so click on it you see what i what it's showing me now so you will click on those layouts those layouts will make the work easier for you it will make the post settings to be easier for you so play through that one i want to see those that will be able to do it on their own play through that blog layout pick the one you want to use and that is how your post will look like once you've done that click on publish so that is how you do your blog settings that's how you do your blog settings but what we use our page builder for is just to build our it is to build our page not post page builder is used to build pages so how can you use it to build the pages that's what i want to tell you then you pick it up from there and complete the the whole work pick it up from there and complete the whole work so how will you use it this one is still loading first let me go and save it publish so after you publish it go back to the menu then you will see that it has already affected you can see what we pick we pick this middle one which is the cover that is that is what we pick so if you go back now let me go back from here go back okay let us now go and view our site before i go to the one i want to explain visit site at the desktop menu let us go to news you can see what we're having now this is what we changed to this is what we changed to let me go back to that customization again let me go to that customization again and do these settings again i just want you to see something before i continue so that you will get what i'm trying to see so for the settings of your blog and the settings of your post format just go to the layout aspect you will see the settings there and adjust it adjust it let's come back to this layout let's come to the layout and pick don't forget that this is how our blog is looking like don't forget that so come to layout then click on blog slash archive now pick this pick this one the first one list format let us pick the list format and see how it will look like can you see that it has changed let us pick this cover can you see that it has changed so this is how you are going to do the settings of that one also the same thing to your single post how you want people to read your post so that is how the settings will look like just publish it just publish it like that you have done the settings for your post format with that so that is the settings concerning the post now the major one that we want to talk about now is 
how to how to install uh, how to use page builder to edit our post how can we use page builder to edit our post uh, to edit our pages rather how can we use the page builder how can we inter uh, interact with the page builder so let's go back what you need to do first is to go to your po to your page you will go to the page that is the first thing it is from that page that you will edit let me change this thing by back to home format now go to your pages like let's assume that we want to edit our own page so once you get to your pages click on edit once you click on edit then you will see you will see don't mind me the reason why i'm seeing this one is because i don't install the classic editor when i install the plugin let me go back and install that theme first when you are installing your wordpress you will see the classic editor when you are installing your wordpress it's there so let me install my own now i already installed it but i don't activate it that is why i'm seeing that one let me go back and activate this this classic editor so that's why i'm seeing this error now let me go back and go to pages all pages click on edit so when you click on the edit you will see launch beaver builder launch beaver builder or create with beaver builder if you are using elementor you will see create with elementor any page builder you are using you will see create with that same page builder don't use more than one page builder they may clash with each other and if they clash with each other to resolve that issue sometimes take times it take a lot of time so click on launch beaver builder then the the page will be opened with beaver builder that page will be open with beaver builder this is it no thanks i don't want any information so this is the page now when you come to this top when you come here you will see the logo that is beaver builder logo you will see some things here tv arrow plus sign those are the things you will need to use to start building your website so if you want to edit anything on this thing just click on it you can see that it's giving us blue box then double click on that place to load for you it will open the interface let me change it to desktop screen because of people that are using desktop also so that we see how it will look like so sorry i want to try and change it okay. let me change it to desktop screen okay. let me change it to desktop screen okay. It's going to desktop screen now. Pages, all pages. Now, my own pages. Let me just click on edit sign. Launch BV Builder. So this these are things I'm talking about. Those logo at the top here. Those are the things I'm talking about that you are going to see. This sign and other things you are going to see there. So how do you now start editing? How do you start editing the whole process? To start editing now to start editing what you need to do is that if you want to edit the content in this one the minimum blog click on that click on it or you double click on it it will open the box for you you can see a box has been opened from that box 
that is where you are going to use to edit it just come to general let me zoom the box and come to general you can see the minimal block let us change it from here to another thing the block so this uh, this is where you are going to do a lot of settings on that your page builder that's why i said you need to browse through the page builder if i should start talking about those page builder and i will not spend more than two three hours look on that page builder alone so there are there are features in that page builder this one is just a basic introduction that expands more on it than the last one that i forwarded to you than the last one this is where you are going to start editing in the blog master let us assume that's what i want it to be there the blog master then click on save <laughs> let us see what we have now you can see that we have changed to the blog <laughs> master that is how you are going to edit everything from a to z but for those that are using phone that one may look too uh stressful that is why i will recommend this for you if you want to be using your phone to edit it try to get what we call the phone uh the phone mouse and keyboard there are phone mouse and keyboard those phone mouse and keyboard will make your work easier it will make the work to be very much easier for you. you just use that mouse to be dragging and dropping navigating and every other things like that try to get them and connect it to your phone but if you are using laptop you don't have a problem you just use your mouse to be dragging and dropping everything you want to do if you are using laptop so how do you add pages how do you add content to this thing okay I want to add more content to this thing that I'm seeing. I want to delete some of this one and I want to replace it with another one. How do you add content? This is the way to add content. Come to the plus sign. This plus sign you are seeing here. Come to this plus sign. Click on that plus sign. Sorry, I will have to switch back to phone let me save this one after you have done everything make sure that you click on that done and click on publish because if you don't do that you have not done anything so let me come back to let me change it to this format and reopen my pages let me reopen my pages okay let me go back and click on edit or if you build that option so i want to use this format to explain so how do you add content to this thing assume i want to add new content how do you have to, how will i add the content to it i want to delete if you want to delete anything if you want to delete anything from it just click on this sign you are seeing here this cancel symbol delete it yes you can see that we have deleted the box now we are left with some box this one also i want to delete it just click on this delete yes you can see that we have begun to delete some things there let us now assume that i want to add other things to that place how will i add it how will i do it come to this plus sign go to row first so click on how many rows did i want two three or four row did i want click on that one i want three column click on it and drag it drag it drag it down and place it after you have done that it will show you the same thing go to modules from that modules that's where you are going to click on image everything that you want to use it is that module that you are going to use to do all those settings once you once you are able to add the uh the the roles to it these are the roles that i just added 
you can see them here one two three so how will i be able to add content to it once you add it it will show you that same rule again but if you don't see it you just click on the plus sign again then instead of rows go to modules go to that modules and click on the one you want to use i don't need this one i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i was loading some error now go to modules drag the one you want to use you can see as you click on anything here it will drag it because this one is simple drag and drop so check the one you want to use and drag it to that to that uh role that you have created and if you have templates that you want to drag we have a lot of templates you that you have saved you can use them by dragging the template you can see that we have a lot of templates here you can see so you click on the one you want to use then drag it but because it is modules that we want to use come to modules then i'm trying to look for the one that will be more easier okay let's click on this registration just click on it and drag it drag it inside any of the one you have created place it there it will show you the option to it it will show you this box once it shows you this one then you need to field all this field i can add more food to it let me click on edit the field what is the field name let's say design one save save i have had another few it's because i use i use a uh, form that's why i'm seeing that one like this so any modules that you click on will give you its option that is why i will still go back to it that you need to check you need to, to search more on the page builder you want to use if you don't know if you don't know how to get the best video on them message me contact me i will show you i will recommend the videos you can you can watch on all those page builder so this is the form that i added now you can see that we now have form on our website that is the form i added the form is not there before you can see now we have form on our page so that is how to use page builder once you click on any anything you want to add it it will give you the interface to edit that thing it is just english other things you are going to do there is just english asking you one or two questions to do those are the things you will just ask you then you do it so i don't recommend using the form that comes with page builder that's why i've explained a uh, form for you using the content uh contact form and i've explained that one for you you can use that form so assuming i want to go back now after i have done everything then you click on that done you click on publish after you click on publish then your site is ready to go you go back to dashboard so you can now view your site and see the way it look like this is how your site will now be looking like let's change it to desktop site we have little mistake uh, little mistake here on this desktop site and what is the mistake this is the mistake i will not call it mistake i will just say that i allow it like that so that to explain some things this space the reason why we are having this space is because we have three go when i want to add good the other time and i only inserted this form i insert the form at the middle one that's why it's loading like like this so that is how to build a complete website from a to z and that's how to use page builder to edit your content that's how to use page builder to edit your content and that will make your work more easier 
so when you install templates it the template we installed your set most of the settings for you but not the permalink you have to go and do the permalink yourself it will install most of the settings for you then you just pick it up from there by editing and adding let's go back to our news and see that it's looking fantastic wow let's open the news and let us see the way it looks like no there is no news in that one there is no information in that place okay there is no information there so this is our news this is our news so you can see that it's looking more fantastic and more glorious so that's how you are going to do it don't worry if the whole thing when you are using that team if it look like the team want to be slowing somehow don't worry it's because of the team it's because of the team so that's why you don't need to use the a team that that we consume a lot of space on your on your browser on your system rather so it's because of the team there are other teams also that we can use that are not that uh that are not stronger like this team so that's how to do the whole thing from a to z and edit it like that from a to z